I'm sorry. <laughs> I I don't know why I did it. I really don't know why because everything was so wonderful and I just I just screwed everything up. I'll 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 try to compose myself and let you know, but I'm. I'll, I'll try to let you know everything that happened, but I'm just, I do apologize if there are any mistakes in written or anything, so. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll let you know the story, but I cheated on my husband. I'm so sorry. Welcome to Ridiculous. I hope you're doing well wherever you are in the world. I hope you're living your best life. I cheated on my husband and I'm not sure what to do. I love him with all my heart. I'm in love with him and I have been content with our relationship for a while now. I want to spend the rest of my life with him. My happiest memories are with him and I want to keep making new memories with him. He's everything that I could have possibly dreamed of, but I completely messed everything up. I did the unthinkable. I cheated on him. I don't want to lose my husband, but... I know I'm going to. He has never been unfaithful to me. He's an amazing husband that any woman would be lucky to have. Friends thought we had a perfect marriage and I just ruined it. I was lonely and bored and I just wanted something not someone to do. I get bored easily. And I'm not talking about being bored with my husband or marriage. And I just wanted something to do, anything. So I went out with some friends the other night who are married as well. We sat and ate and had nothing to do with anyone else. They left before I did because they were driving home. I'm just a slow eater and I'm always the last person to finish. I wasn't quite done and there were weird people outside the bar that, that I did not want to go by. They were smoking then leaving. As soon as my friends left, the guy that I had sex with came up to me. It was the first time I met him and talked to him. I noticed him before. I noticed him before that when I was with my friends, but I just looked at him a few times. He sat by me and we talked. I wasn't open to it at first, but the way he talked and came off got me to let my guard down. He bought me a drink and I initially said I didn't want it. I'm a shy person. I don't like confrontation. So I took it and sipped until one became two and two became however many. I know damn well alcohol isn't an excuse for anything. It gets foggy after that and that will make it very hard to tell my husband. I remember it, but the You're finer details and finding the words is hard. I enjoy listening to you. He doesn't give me as much attention as I would like. He's great and all, but sometimes, ugh, I just wish he could just drop everything and show me love. How hard is that? You seem to be a, a down-to-earth kind of chick, sometimes. you know? And another thing that bothers me is that he cuts me off. I'm like, hello. I would always listen like, to you. Like, you didn't see me talking. I would never so, cut you off. I get tired when he does that. And then sometimes he just thinks he knows. I know I was horrible for saying anything bad about my husband. I wanted to take it back as soon as it came out. He followed it by saying he'd never do that and that he'd do better. And it made me feel worse about my husband in that moment. I love my husband. I don't want to lose him. I don't want a divorce. I didn't want an exit affair, which I have never heard of, but can assume what that means. My husband isn't home right now. He's in Mexico with his friends. All day I just sat at home. I cried and I felt disgusted with myself. This isn't the kind of person I am or the kind of person I thought I was, but I guess I am. Before this, I have never been unfaithful, and never in my wildest dreams did I ever think I would ever do something like this, or that I ever could do something like this. I have never been a promiscuous person, but that night I was. I wish I could take it back, and better yet, I wish it never happened. It wasn't worth it. Nothing could ever make it worth the cost of my marriage and my husband's pain. I'm so scared, and I think about when my husband returns home. I don't know what I'm going to do. I want to forget that it ever happened and be happy. My husband doesn't know right now and I don't know how to tell him and minimize the pain that I caused him. 
I don't want to lose him. I don't know how I'm going to look him in the eye and tell him what I did, then watch him walk away. We recently decided to take the next step in our marriage and we were so happy about it, but I just ruined it all. I ruined all of our hopes and dreams with each other. We had so many plans. Everything that we built is ruined now. I don't understand how some people can be unfaithful to their spouse over and over again. I did it once and it's killing me. This is really hard to write. I'm so scared to read the replies. I don't want to be told how terrible of a person I am. I already know. I just want to be with my husband in his arms and he isn't here. And when he gets here, he isn't going to want to be here anymore. He isn't going to want to be anywhere near me. What am I supposed to do? I know that he isn't going to want to stay with me when I tell him. Why should he? I couldn't hide it from him. He deserves better than that. And as if I'm any person to decide that now, we don't have any kids yet. We've been trying, but not yet. I don't know how anyone could feel like this and do it again. I don't want to be with anyone else and I don't want to hurt my husband further. I'm going to tell my husband. I don't know how or when, but I'm going to tell him. Do you think I should wait until he comes home or tell him over the phone and ruin his trip? At least right now he's having fun. I didn't know the guy that I slept with. I'm not a big drinker. I didn't even plan to drink. He approached me and I didn't even tell him to go away. The way he talked made me feel very comfortable okay. and I said more than I should have. Whatever's on your mind. He just I was loving the attention that I was getting from that guy at the time because so, I felt so that I was lacking a little bit from my husband after we had been trying to get pregnant like and it wasn't happening as fast well. as we hoped. You know, I, was I liked the attention, you with your friends. but I let this I'm go way too far. Right it seems like it would have been better if it was just an emotional affair, but I threw away my marriage for a one night stand, all for nothing. I was thinking my husband could have a wife that would never cheat on him. He shouldn't want me when he can have someone else. He has more self-respect than that. I would do anything to stay married and be happy again, but I don't know how that would be possible. I promise I'm not going to do it again. I don't know how anyone could feel like this and do it again. I don't want to be with anyone else and I don't want to hurt my husband further. I'm going to tell my husband I don't know how or when. At that bar, I liked the attention and having someone interested in me, but I let it go too far. It was too far when I let him sit next to me and buy me a drink, but I took it further. I don't know when to tell my husband. I don't want it to be worse because I waited until he was home, but I don't want to tell him when he can't really talk about it and might never come home. I don't want him to find someone else. No one else knows about this right now. I would do anything that my husband wanted if it meant he would try and forgive me. I don't know how I'd ever be able to sleep in our bed again knowing I let another man into it. I wish I could burn the house down and destroy everything that reminds me of what I did. It's all my fault, not his. I would never blame him. I think he will already wonder how many times I've betrayed him, which is fair enough though. I deserve it. I'm going to tell him. It's not something I can just hide. I don't know how someone could. I didn't know the guy. He wasn't a co-worker. I had never seen him before. If he was a co-worker, I would quit my job. I wouldn't want to work around someone that I slept with. I couldn't do that to my husband or myself or the guy's wife if he was married. He was a random guy who I had never met before. I went out with a few friends because my husband was gone and I was lonely and bored. We went to a bar because the food there is amazing and we were craving it. No other reason. My friends are married as well. My friends left before I did and the guy approached me when they were gone. I was going to leave a few minutes after they did but I didn't. I let him buy me a drink and then another. I have never had a one night stand before. I had never hooked up with a random guy. He was gone by the time I woke up. I can't imagine my husband hearing what I did and wanting to stay with me. He has said in the past that infidelity would be a deal breaker for him. I'm going to feel like shit and the worst person in the world for the rest of my life. I don't know how I could ever forget what I did to a really amazing husband. I don't want to hurt him by telling him, but he deserves to know. I don't know how I could just let our marriage continue while hiding this. Let him come to our home that I let another man into. 
sleep together in our bed where I slept with another man. It makes me sick to my stomach thinking about it. If I can't even think about it without feeling the need to throw up, literally, I don't know how I would tell him or how I'd live with it in secret. He's attentive. He know something is wrong. I wish I had never done it. I'm going to get tested. I called my doctor about it today and I was told to wait until the end of the week for testing because of an incubation period. I have never had an STD test done. I have never had the need to. I'm terrified to have caught something, if anything. That was a huge reason I avoided casual sex before I was married. The fear. I didn't go out with the intention of having sex with a stranger. I wasn't dressed like a hoe. I did things wrong, but I didn't go with the intention of being hit on or having sex. It didn't just happen. I know that. I let it happen. I was curious about being with another man. I'm going to be checked for STDs. I don't remember if a con was used. That's terrible to say. I know. I took plan B the morning after. I had my IUD removed when my husband and I wanted to start trying to get pregnant. I'm terrified for either of the tests to come back positive. We have been unsuccessfully trying to get pregnant, but that isn't why I did it. I don't want to be pregnant by a man who is not my husband. I don't know what I'd do if I got pregnant this month. I use plan B, but I'd still worry about it not being my husband's. I don't remember if I used protection. I hope I did, but I can't remember at all. There wasn't an open wrapper laying around or a used one in the garbage. There was an unopened one wedged between the mattress and side rails of the bed frame, but that doesn't help me. I know that was disgusting. It wasn't just sex. I betrayed my husband and our vows. I do anything that my husband wants and kiss his ass for the rest of my life to try and make it up to him. If he stays with me, I'd owe him that. I want to burn our mattress. I'm really tempted to go out and buy a new one, but that doesn't erase that man's existence from our home, our bedroom, from me. I threw out the sheets. I haven't slept in our bed since the affair. I barely remember how I let it happen. I do, but I don't. It doesn't matter because I did let it happen and chose to take him to my home. 